How did you simultaneously win and lose the genetic lottery? Hash. My colleague told me a story about growing up in Burundi and his mother having sickle cell anemia. I tried to be sympathetic. But he said it was not viewed as completely terrible as it made her immune to the malaria epidemic that was going on at the time. I don't have a gag reflex. Very useful and very deadly. I can choke and not know until it's too late. Edit. For those who keep asking something can be stuck in my throat and I won't know it until I try to breath or swallow. But still worth it if I ask me. Edit 2. RIP your inbox. I'm the only person in my family with perfect eyesight. But I'm also the only person who doesn't have a sense of smell. I'm very healthy with no genetic disorders or diseases. 28 inch inseam. Good. Even the worst economy class flight is no big deal. Bad. Finding pants that fit and ladies that wanted to get into them. I look younger than I am. Still get ID despite being in my 30s. And don't need to shave as often as most other men. Basically I'm a baby faced assassin. But I've ankylosing spondylitis. Crohn's disease. Osteoporosis. Recurring uveitis. I'm losing my hair. And I'm all of 5 feet tall because my back is collapsing. I was never tall to begin with. 5 feet 5 peak height. Baby faced assassin is a great screen name. I never get sick. Ever. My natural cholesterol is so high. You could spread my blood on toast. I am tall and creative. And I have a connective tissue disorder which has been causing me problems for my entire life. Apparently this means I get to look forward to constant pain once I'm older. Bye bye. And sorry dad I'm never passing this on to another generation. I practically never vomit. I think maybe once in the past 20 years. And even then it was barely a vomit at all. No matter how rough I feel. I can always prevent myself from throwing up. The flip side is that I also never burp. Which means all that gas has to go somewhere. Result? I have some fearsome toots. Vomit free since OSI 93. Doing great in my electrical engineering program. Father died from his second heart attack at 36. Most of the men on that side of the family are dead by their mid 40s despite being active and artery conscious. Fortunately I have a great cardiologist and many advances have been made, so fingers crossed. Guys, don't think because you are fit you are automatically safe. High functioning autism. Phenomenal memory and learning powers. Itty bitty social skills. I was genetically blessed with the torso of a 6 feet 2 man. I lost out with the legs of a 4 feet 11 man. Edit. To answer some of the more common questions people are asking. I have a 27 and seam and I balance out at 5 feet 7. 5 tall. Edit 2. The perfect proportion is inside leg at 45% of overall height. Interesting way to figure out how long your inseam should be. Divide your inseam and cm by your height and cm and x100. Someone who is 6 feet 2 therefore should have an inseam of around 33. 5 roughly. It's Baba Legs. It looks like puberty doesn't even know my name. So I still have very little acne. A tiny boy. And a really high voice for a guy. Although. People always tell me I have really beautiful eyes. I had cancer. Also I'm 6 feet 3 225 pounds and played college football on scholarship Suru not sure if I have a net gain or loss. Edit, I've been cancer free for 2 years. Having nice breasts but being a man. Tall. Not bad looking. Fairly muscular but have a very high propensity to develop back problems. My lower back is a mess and I'm only in my mid 20s. Get used to squatting. No matter what you have to pick up. However small light or large heavy. Squat down and use your legs to power yourself up. Actually. Everyone should do this whether taller or shorter. I am considered to have gorgeous eyes. They are my best feature. However. I have absolutely terrible vision. Near far sighted with astigmatism. 
I cannot recognize my own mother from 5 feet away. I had a crazy gf once who I once busted scooping out the contents of a just used condom into her cooch. Jokes on her. I was born with a genetic anomaly that caused me to be sterile. It is an extremely rare genetic occurrence called a AZFBY chromosomal microdeletion. Everyone in the US who has this condition could fit in the room I am typing this. Probably one of many dodge bullets. Edit. I did not find out I was sterile until I was 41. That gf was when I was 26 she was 37. Bonus story. I was married at 40. We tried to have kids. When my ex-wife found out I was sterile she asked for a divorce. But now I am remarried. With a beautiful toddler girl made from donor sperm. Colon. Edit ii. For those people who don't know the difference between the preposition to and with. Please. No more comments derp derp. You married a toddler? Jesus. Is it really dodging bullets if you're shooting blanks? I still have a full head of hair. Thanks grandad. But it's white. Thanks grandad. I think you should give your granddad his hair back. My hearing is so good my brain can't keep up with it. I regularly shock people by overhearing what they're saying from extreme distances. But as a result of picking up every piece of ambient noise I often find it difficult to understand what the person in front of me is saying. Lose. Working on how I feel about myself. Everything about me is tiny. Puberty grazed me. Then left the building. Often get mistaken for a child. In? I rarely get ill. And when I do. It's never horrible. My immune system seems rather decent. I was born into a rich family but I have a micropenis. Get a new one. Great beard. Bad hair. I won in the physical looks department. But it comes with crippling asthma and zero pain tolerance. 8 inch dick. Face and personality of a Warcraft orc. Autism. Win. Easily interested in topics that I enjoy. I memorize tons of facts easily. Lots of interests. Can spend hours focused on one thing. Usually can learn stuff very quickly if I am interested in it. Lose. Bad in social situations. Can't recognize sarcasm sometimes. Bad handwriting. Can't preform well if I write. I get to use my computer to type exams. Very emotional. Really bad at mental maths. Impossible to stay focused on boring things. Hard time getting rid of things. Hard time finding people that are interested in the same things I am. The stereotypes associated with autism. Edit. Thank you all for your responses. Lots of people are responding that I am describing what they feel perfectly. For those of you seriously wondering whether you have it or not. I would recommend getting tested, no brain scan involved. It's just a Q&A session with a psychologist, and your parents might get involved as well. For people who are in school. A note proving that you have autism would make your life a lot easier. Edit. Holy shit. My first gold. Thank you. My musical talent landed me my dream life. But I went deaf by my 20s. Thanks grandpa. I don't have any birth defects since I was born from a WH Ray meth addict. Lose. Scoliosis. Fixed it now. Deaf in my right ear. Skull was too small causing spinal fluid to leak. Fixed it now but missing some skull. Blue rubber bleb never syndrome. Calcified lumps in my veins. Mostly on joints. Forever in pain in some way. Shape or form. Win. F-king magical immune system and healing abilities. E. G. Rarely ever ill and re. The scoliosis surgery. I was supposed to be in hospital for 3 weeks to recover. But was discharged after 5 days because I just got up and walked around feeling fine. Huzzah. I'm Italian but also severely lactose intolerant. Mamma mia. Good titties but also back problems. 6 feet 5 240. Athletically gifted. But also gifted with ulcerative colitis. 
Every time I'd apply myself heavily in sports I'd end up bleeding from my insides and have to take time off to recover. I'm 6 feet 4. I have back problems. I'm 6 feet 3. Blonde and blue eyes. Athletic. And bald as FCK by the age of 20. I am slim and a good looking guy and always have been. I suffer hay fever in the summer. And all the girls are looking their best I am sneezing. Dribbling snot and my eyes are all red and puffed up. Edit. I wrote this thinking about ARP's question. Remembering when I was a young man. 70s 80s. I suffer very little now in my later years. I'm very flexible and used to surprise people by contorting myself into odd spaces, lockers, suitcases, cabinets, etc. Dot. My problem is that all that flexibility isn't enough for my mouth to reach my 3. 5 inch dick. If only I had an average 5. 5 I could totally blow myself. Welp can't unread this. Great teeth. 47 and never had a filling. But. My bottom teeth are tilted forward more than normal. So I bite my lip more than I'd like. I'd like it to be 0 times. Big boobs. Nice hips. No butt. How do you poop? High metabolism. Got my mom's height instead of my dad's short stature but also got stuck with her complexion so I sunburn in about 5 minutes and go completely red faced while slightly exerting myself instead of having less pale skin like my dad. I'm Chinese. I have a big dick and I'm horrible at math. From my dad's side. I got the insanely long legs. From my mother's side. I got the wide hips and the fat distribution that tends to hang round hips and thighs. From my dad's side. I did not get the international level athlete's gene. But I did get the rubbish ankles. Which limits the amount of exercise I can do. So while long legs are generally seen as desirable on women. I don't quite follow through. As a result. Buy shirts in size 8 and skirts in size 14. And there is only one cut of dress that ever looks remotely good on me. I am a long redheaded, auburn wavy, tall, 6 feet 3, green eyed man. I did some modeling and I've always been on the attractive side. I also have multiple sclerosis and very bad kidney function. Like borderline failing bad and I am 22. Win some lose some feeling in my foot I guess. Mayo I'm so sorry but. Win some. Amazing beak. But man I hate these webbed feet. My immune system can fight off damn near anything. Except debilitating migraines. Got everything a guy would want physically. Everybody says I'm intelligent. But I have genetic depression. If something doesn't actively make me happy. I feel sad. Hot. But going bald since 20. And can't really rock the shaved head. Well. My boyfriend and I have discussed this question a while back. If we were to ever have kids. Win. We both have thick. Luscious hair with no balding on either side. So our kid would have awesome hair. Lose. Due to us both having terrible vision. Our kid would probably be blindish t. Quite handsome. Dark circles and eyes. I am 6 feet 10, closing up on 6 feet 11, and over 400 pounds. Pros. People look at you funny. Which I have always found amusing. Cons. Literally everything else that comes with being 6 feet 10 and over 400 pounds. Above average strength. Overly squishy spinal discs. I was the go-to guy for lifting heavy stuff but my spine suffered. Lucky for me I live in this age of high tech medicine so I'm going into my senior years with titanium reinforcements. I have an amazing memory. But only for song lyrics. I remember all the lyrics to every TV show I ever watched as a kid. I can't remember what ribosomes are though. It's very hard for me to pick up weight so I can eat whatever the hell I want and still have a low BMI. Conversely. 
It's both very hard for me pick up muscle weight and takes ages for me to lose whatever weight I do end up gaining. So I only ever tone when in shape while I can never seem to lose that small layer of fat around my abs either. I essentially always look skinny in other words. I sweat profusely. All the women in my family do. It's shti now soaking through my clothes after light strenuous activity. But if my mother and her mother are anything to go by. I'm gonna look 50 when I'm nearing my 80s. I'll suffer the sweat for the extended youth. Tall. Very good hip waist ratio figure. Big eyes and shapely lips. Deep nasolabial folds and tear ducts. Depression. Anxiety and weird manly voice. Bad eyesight and so I need to wear glasses which makes all the folds on my face look 10x worse. Not a good combination if you black. Classical European white girl face. Classical European white girl tendency to be chubby. I have an ear genius IQ but have a rare brain disease that has nearly wiped my memory. I can't remember much of anything before 20 years old and have a really hard time retaining anything I read now. My hair. It's also good curly so nice and corkscrewy. Not I just right. Thick. Dark. And I can't grow it beyond my shoulders. Into depression. Also well endowed but blind to any and all social cues that might lead to utilizing that particular gift. Very strong and healthy bones and teeth. Never broken fractured anything or gotten a single cavity in 30 years. Addictive tendencies, along with circumstance, draws me to caffeine. PRN. And video games so it's a struggle to stay in good shape. Also I'm always told I have a runner's body but I can't run for shti without stopping after a mile or so. I feel like if I could naturally run and enjoy it. I might be able to kick some other habits. I'm tall and thin. But I have celiac disease. She's thin plus she's not eating what everyone else is equals she must have an eating disorder. As a thin woman who says no to the office birthday cake. The pizza everyone ordered. The beer at your party. The cookies you baked for me. Etc. I'm always accused of being anorexic. I actually eat over 4. 000, 000, 000 calories a day. I just have to be really careful what they are. Gluten free food is not a Hollywood lifestyle fad for me. It's life without severe GI distress. But people don't believe that. Women are the meanest about it. High functioning autism. Born a white male blonde hair blue eyes. During a time when employers are reluctant to hire PPL like me over diversity candidates BC they're afraid of appearing biased or prejudiced. Which in turn makes me discriminated against. With the presumed guilt that I. Myself am prejudice, yet I'm told that my physical makeup makes it impossible for me to be discriminated against BC the world caters to me and I am the most privileged person on earth. Despite my underwhelming existence and normal day to day which includes being pulled over and having K9 search my car simply for being in the wrong place wrong time. But I don't go on social media blaming the authorities for abusing their power since it's impossible for someone like me to be profiled. Then I risk being permabanned for suggesting such a paradox on mainstream websites like Reddit. The white male privilege myth is racist and exist in and of itself. I got the girl version of my dad's Italian jeans and they look great on me. Except I also inherited his knees and knuckles. Seriously have nobby. Wrinkly old man joints. I'm not even 20 years old and my hair is going white. But it's thick and not falling. I can eat all I want and burn that. But it's hard to gain weight. My voice and looks are attractive. In everyone's eyes except me. Don't have body odor because Asian. Till Asians don't smell. My dad tells me I have a gift of intelligence but I have no work ethic. I'm smart. I'm perky. But if I don't like it or if there's something else on my mind. I ain't worky. I know it's there for me to fix. But whenever I try I just never get around to doing it and I just get frustrated when it doesn't change with a snap of the fingers. It's hard for me to be creative without having inspiration and if it doesn't come out perfect. I become very frustrated. 
I am impatient, like a child, and can never wait for stuff I want. But. When I am productive. I can do a very good job of what I'm doing and I can also ramble on and make a longer reddit comment than I wanted. That aside. I'm grateful for my gift but it sometimes is really annoying. Also people say I have OCD but when I went to a doctor they said I didn't but that's a topic for another time. Win. Awesome long, naturally, curly hair. Total baba face, I'm 39 yet people seem to think I am a HS student. Great boobs. Lose. Rheumatic arthritis. Fibromyalgia. Flat ass. Got the tall jeans but as a chick they don't do much good. Bullsh t I'm a 5 feet 4 dude how you doing? Dog like ability to smell. I smell. Win. Naturally straight teeth. No need for braces. I'm also natural blonde. Lose. Bear. Everywhere. Which is why I consider being a natural blonde a win since no one can see the hair so I can go without shaving waxing a bit longer. Also the depression and anxiety don't help either. Lot of muscles but I'm very short. Tyler won. Win. Big dick lose. Get a DLDO made and use your dick as the mold. Source. Girlfriend is trans and plans to do that before she gets SRS. She said she's always wanted to know what it would be like to FCK herself. I have the ability to grow a full beard which not many white guys can do age 19. However I have a lot of body hair which is a ball ache to keep under control. I got an underbite that will probably cause me jaw pain in my 40s but it actually gives me a halfway decent jawline. Well endowed but Azul. Came here for similar reasons. I am built like a curvy peasant woman of old. All my female relatives are fertile as all hell. Got hips that don't lie. I am low libido. Zero and number 37. Interested in having children. And leaning towards women in my interest. Tall. Deep baritone voice. Endurance animal. All this is not naturally occurring in my ethnicity. Size of head is way too fking big so thank god for this abnormal height. Penis too big to have sx with. Naturally curvy with larger chest and hips but to the point where it is too much. I suffer with back pain sometimes and struggle to find things like bras and swimming costumes that fit me. I'm also quite short so it does not look proportional at all. My hips are also ridiculously huge which means trousers are awful. I have to buy bigger trousers to fit over my hips. But then my legs are very short so he trousers are usually too long. As I am so frequently told by mother. I should be grateful for being born well endowed as such as other women would kill for it but I really don't get it tbh. I'm currently trying to lose weight and exercise more but it feels like I'm fighting a losing battle considering the majority of women on my dad's side of the family gain weight very easily and are on the larger side.